Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see a question today. So today's question is from the topic of complex numbers. So we are continuing our series of questions on JWE Advanced. And in today's question of complex numbers, we have been given that a region S is there, which is intersection of the three regions S1, S2 and S3. So the common region to all of these three, where S1 is given to us as Z belongs to complex numbers, mod of Z is less than 4. S2 again tells us Z belongs to complex numbers and imaginary part of Z minus 1 plus root 3i upon 1 minus root 3i that is given to us as greater than 0. And S3 is the region which tells us Z belongs to complex numbers. Real part of Z which is there is greater than Z. So these are the three regions given to us. We have been told that S is the common region to all the three. The question first that is asked to us tells us to find the area of the common region S. Four options that are given to us in this is 10 pi by 3, 20 pi by 3. Third option, 16 pi by 3. The last option is. So, this is the question asked. And the second part of the same question, which is given to us, says we need to find minimum distance of when Z belongs to your shaded region, mod of 1 minus 3i minus Z. So basically, you need to find the distance of this point 1 comma minus 3 from Z that is asked to us and the four options in this question which is given us 2 minus root 3 by 2, 2 plus root 3 by 2, the next option 3 minus root 3 by 2 and so in today's video, I'll be doing the first part of the question and tomorrow's video, I'll be doing the second part of the question. So let's start with the common solution first, S1, S2 and S3. So S1, let's figure out that. So S1 is given to us as Z belongs to complex number and mod of Z is less than. So, we already know complex number Z is always given by X plus I, Y. And X is the real part. Y, which is there, is the imaginary part because it is with I. Now, if I use this idea, we know mod of X plus I, Y less than 4 means root of X squared plus Y squared less than 4. If I take the square on both sides, you get x squared plus y squared less than 16. So basically, I understand if I remove the inequality and plot an equality, that is nothing but x squared plus y squared equal to r squared, which is the equation of circle. And if x squared plus y squared is lesser, means the entire region of S1 is inside. We will draw the representations also for this, but first let's figure out all the three regions. So this is S1, S2. Again, Z belongs to complex numbers. We have been told imaginary part of Z minus 1 plus root 3i upon 1 minus root 3i is greater than 0. If I try to solve this imaginary part of X plus IY because Z is X plus IY, Minus common, 1 minus root 3i. Denominator is also 1 minus root 3i. Now, if I want to rationalize the denominator because it is in root, I'll multiply both sides by 1 plus And that is given to us as greater than c. Now, if I try to solve this, get here. Imaginary part of x plus iy into 1 plus root 3i 
minus 1 minus root 3 i into 1 plus root 3 i divided by a minus b into a plus b that gives you a square minus b square. So a square minus root 3 i square. So root 3 and root 3 square is 3 and i square becomes minus 1. So minus into minus into this. Further, if you try to solve this imaginary part, get from here x plus x root 3 i plus i y plus root 3 y i square that is minus 1. So it actually becomes minus of minus a minus b into a plus b that also becomes a square minus b square. So a square is 1 square minus b square so root 3 square and i square i square is minus 1 that again makes sense. That is great answer. So further if I try to solve this here only I get it. Now imaginary part only I have to find out so I'll ignore the real parts. Imaginary part if I select here it's x root 3 plus i y and a constant. So imaginary part of this entire expression is x root 3 plus y So from this expression you get that as y plus root 3 x is so this is your second part of the region if i put it instead of inequality and equality here that becomes an equation of line so either the region is above the line or below the line we need to figure that either it is above the line or below the line around that but we have got the region for the second part also Let's find the third equation also for S3. Again, we have been told Z belongs to complex number. And further, we have been asked that real part of Z is greater than zero. Now we know real part of Z means real part of X plus I, Y should be greater than zero. And real part in X plus I, Y is X. Again, x greater than 0, if I remove inequality and put equality, is it is a line. When x is greater than 0, it means the region is to the right of line. x is equal to 0. So we have figured out all the three equations. Now let's plot the region. So the first equation is 1 told me x squared plus y squared is less than 16. Region is 2 told me 5 plus root x should be greater than 0 and x3 is the region which tells me x should be greater than 0. So now if I try to plot the region in this case, I have been given, let's say this is y-axis This is your line x is equal to 0 and this is your line y is equal to 0. When x is greater than 0, I get the first part from S3 that your region which is common will always be to the right. Now let's plot y plus root 3x greater than 0. So instead of y plus root 3x greater, I'll put it equal to first of all to understand my line. It comes out y is equal to minus root 3x plus 0. So if I compare it with y equals to mx plus c, slope is negative, c is 0, means your line passes through the origin. And since slope is negative, it will be a descending line. So you get a region like this. Somewhat this will be a line. And when slope is negative, minus root 3 means your angle which is formed here is minus 60. So this entire angle's magnitude is 60 degree, but since we are going in the clockwise direction, you have the angle as minus 60. Now let's understand whether the region will be above the line or below the line. So let's say if I take any random point, 
let's say five comma zero, that is above the line. So if I put that here in this expression, you get zero plus five root three. So five into root three is always positive. That is greater than zero. So this condition is every time true. And when this condition is true, that means it satisfies for the line or the region above the line. So y plus root 3x greater than 0, I'm showing it in the black arrows that is above the line. So this region also lies above the line. Now, let's understand the third part. That is this. So we know for this line, it lies above the region, above the line. And for this line x greater than 0, it lies to the right of the line. So the common region till now is this much part, right? Now let's figure out the circle. Circle is telling us x square plus y square less than 16. If I remove the inequality and plot it as equal, so it gives me x square plus y square equal to r square. So if I compare it, radius becomes 4. So basically I understand there will be some coordinate 4 comma 0. So if I draw a circle here, let's say my circle becomes something. This will be your circle x square plus y square equal to 16. But since it is lesser, it should be inside the circle. So inside the circle, entire region is there. So if you see the common region that is common to all the three, now let's understand. The first one told us that it should be to the right of this line. So we have this entire region. The second told us that it should be inside the circle. So we have this half part of the circle, right hand side part of the circle and the third is saying it should be above the line. So the common region I get here in this case is right hand part of the circle but only till the region above the line. So this is your common shaded region here. Now in the first question we have been told to find area of the region that is common to all the three. Let's figure out that. So if I figure out the area of region which is common to all the three, so question one, area of S, if I want to find out, I can see that area of region is nothing but what? The area of the sector, this much part, where we already know this is 90 degree, and this also we know the magnitude as 60 degrees, so the total angle becomes and if I want to find the area of the sector, radius of the circle is also known to us, that is 4. So area of sector, formula for that is theta by 360 into pi r square. So you get 150 by 360 into pi into 2 square. This gets cancelled, 3 fives of 8 points are get. 16 pi into 5 upon 12. So 4 threes are 4 fours are again. You get the answer 25 by 3. So the area of the region S, which was asked to us, comes out to the term P, that is 20. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question. So first we figured out from S1, S2, and S3 all the three equations. One told us that it is a circle, the other two were lines. So we figured out the circle and the lines and then we understood the regions that will either be above the line, below the line, to the right of line, left of line, inside circle or outside circle. So once I figured out the common region that was this part, we just carried out the area of this common region that was nothing but area of sector. And that matches with option B here. So answer for the question which is asked to us that is area of the shaded region comes out with I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question where you have been asked to find the area of the common region. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next part of the same question where we have been asked to find the minimum distance of this point 1 comma minus 3 from the complex number set. So I'll help you with the same question, same part of the second question tomorrow. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of children.
Thank you.